Hi, in this e video we are going to show how we can use i3log to create some effect like this. And basically this is just a lock screen with i3log in front, blur the background and of course we put a logo of Arch Linux in this case in front of um, the background. So to create effect like this, basically you need um, to install three things. So the first one, i3 lock of course um, to lock the screen, image ma magic and scroll. So we will look at how we can um, how we are going to use all these three later. And of course another main point of this video is to show that how we can create this simple script bash script file for uh, two monitor. Okay. So the idea of this effect that we have shown earlier is that um, first we take a screenshot of our desktop then we blur it right so because we need to have an effect of blur and of course later on we add a logo on it right so it can be logo it can be any image that you feel that you are com um, you prefer then the third one would be we lock the screen with i3 lock and with this image of the screenshot okay. so basically this is the flow of this um, script here and of course what we are going to do here is um, to take the screenshot I use um, this scrub and then to blur it and add a logo basically we use image magic okay. Okay. And for of course the last one we use i3 lock. So basically this is the main idea of the script file here. And now we look at line by line of what we are doing here. So in this script file, you can see that um basically I have the first one image is what is the logo. Okay. So this would be the logo and for this image 1 image 2 and image 3 here basically what we have here is a temporary file that comes from the screenshot okay so we will look at all these things in details later then of course first one we get the screenshot of this um, image and scroll and then we name it and save it in this directory okay so we get the screenshot and then we want to add blur and lock screen with it right so this is um, the whole purpose the main purpose of this um, script file here okay so what I did here was um, to use the command convert basically this command is coming from this image magic so now um, we see that um, how or where we use this command here okay so in this whole line here basically I change the brightness um, to darker of course um, it depends on you if you prefer it to be um, on the same brightness then you can just ignore this line or comment this line then moving on with the whole screenshot um, bear in mind that now we are looking at two monitors here so the whole screenshot will be starting from the left here until the end here okay so the whole screenshot here would be 2732 times 768 and of course we can do the manipulation of the image on um, the whole image um, including at the Gaussian blur then we resize it to 25% resize back to 400% so on this part here basically this is to make the image blur and we scale it to one fourth of the size and then we resize back to the original size so by doing so some information will um, be lost and then of course when we resize back um, the image will be slightly blurred so compared to using the command blur in the convert basically this will be slightly faster Okay, so in this case we are not using this one okay then moving forward to this line basically what we have here is um 
we crop the image and what we need to do here is basically to split into two parts which is our monitor one and two right okay so what we have here image two is basically the first monitor we convert um, basically we crop the original screenshot into 1366 times 768 starting from 00, 0 which is on the left hand side here and then for this file image 2 then we put the logo which is the image here onto this file image 2 and of course we overwrite the original image 2 so in this case we basically we have um, a screenshot up to this line up to this line we have a screenshot split into half and then the first half on left hand side we put in the logo in the middle of the left hand side and name it as override the original file then we repeat the same thing for the second screen which is on the right hand side here so we crop into the same pixel of course this one depends on your monitor and then starts from 1366 basically is um, the line here and then we save it as um, image tree and again we do the same thing put on the logo in the middle so in the gravity center we put in the logo image into the file image tree then what now we have two separate files or two separate image with arch linux logo in the middle and of course we need to combine both of these so we append this one and then we name it as image one and later on we just use i3 lock to lock the whole screen both monitor and then we put on the image with this image one then effect of the lock screen shown earlier will be shown here and after this one has been done we just remove whatever temporary file that we have um, created earlier from the screenshot from the split into image 2 and image 3 so basically this is the whole idea of this um, i3 lock with blur background so thanks for watching this see you again bye